Voyager was planned to operate at 1 billion miles at Saturn. It was now being asked to operate at 2 billion miles at Uranus, where the sun was very dim. We had to do several things. For instance, you have to have much longer exposures on the camera. And if you have too long an exposure, the spacecraft's moving very rapidly, things become smeared. So we had to learn how to program the spacecraft to turn at just the right rate so that it would compensate for the motion of the spacecraft. But when Voyager reached Uranus, its cameras found little to photograph. We had been so spoiled by the glamour and the color and the intricacies of what we saw in the atmospheres of Jupiter and Saturn that Uranus was a little bit of a, a letdown because it was so bland. There's more atmosphere and more haze above the clouds, and so it's hard to see the features. Even at its closest approach, Voyager revealed little detail in the atmosphere of Uranus. Uranus is different than Jupiter and Saturn in the sense that it has no internal heat source. They're, both Jupiter and Saturn are radiating more energy than they receive from the sun because there's still heat inside those planets. For some reason at Uranus, that heat source had been shut down and was not driving the atmosphere. So the atmosphere was much blander. Voyager had found a very different kind of giant, a world many times smaller and colder than Jupiter and Saturn. It was shrouded in different gases, mostly methane and ammonia, under which scientists believe there might lie oceans of water and ice. What exactly is that? Is that in here, you think? If Uranus had been something of a disappointment, the imaging team found plenty of surprises in the planet's moons. Most striking of all was the tiny moon Miranda. 